Thank you for tuning in for to the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. Sorry, I just woke up and I sound terrible and I look terrible. But on with the show. So I want you to ignore what you've been told about or taught about racism just for a second. And let's think about pure economics. I've made a few videos and I've skirted around this issue and I know that a lot of you have not had any education in economics whatsoever. Well, there's economics in a class classroom and then applying those models to the real world. So here it is. White business owners hire mostly white people. That is not shocking. Humans are more comfortable around humans of the same type or whoever they identify with. If that's the color of the skin, that's the color of the skin. Latinos hire Latinos, blacks hire blacks. Uh, I know that might sound shocking to you, but the largest employer of blacks is not the federal government, that includes military, state, local, county, the governments. The largest employer of blacks are black owned businesses. Now, so when I say blacks need to open more businesses, I'm really trying to say that blacks need to lower the unemployment rate in the black community by virtue of simply opening black owned businesses. Yes, black banks hire black people. Black grocery stores hire black people. Black gas stations hire black people. Black corporations hire black people. As the instance of self-autonomy approaches peak efficiency, that is to say, as the black community purchases, a majority of their purchases come from black owned businesses, wealth recycling, that is to say black people spending money with black people and in a continuous cycle and loop, which occurs in all other communities, blacks will achieve self-autonomy. I'm speaking like this because a lot of you are not even going to understand what I'm saying. I'm trying not to use big words and I'm trying not to make this sound like I'm educating you, but I am. As more and more black owned businesses are opened and blacks hire blacks, the immediate result is that black unemployment goes down, right? We all understand that part, right? Because I've already gone over that. As black unemployment goes down, the instances with the problems in the black community disappear, vanish, poof, goes up in smoke, right? I want you to name one problem that the black community has today that cannot be solved by more black businesses being opened up in the black community. That means kicking out the Koreans and the Jews and the Italians out of the black community and open up black owned businesses. We already have black manufacturing. We already have black transportation. We already have those businesses open. If black people took a more thought out long term approach to building their own community, which is a, which is what the government is already doing to us, right? At the lower echelons of the black community, that's the poor, the upper lower class, the lower middle class, and the middle middle class of the black community, the government already has structured what they are going to do to us, not for us, 
to us. If black owned businesses popped up that also did business to business with black transportation, black manufacturing, we would structure the black community in a self-autonomous entity. Now, I want you, for those people who are immediately going to talk about racism, I said forget racism. We're not even going to mention the word, right? This is already happening in the white community, in the Jewish community, in the Italian community, in the... Pennsylvania Dutch community, in the Canadian communities that are in the United States, in the Latino community, in the Cuban uh, American communities, in the Asian American communities, in the Filipino American communities, in the Japanese American communities, in the Chinese American communities. This, this is already happening in those communities. We don't even have control over our own artists. That is to say, the rappers, the singers, the poets, the painters, the photographers, the musicians, the performers, and in sports. We don't even have control over those people. All of the problems of the black community would vanish, evaporate, if we approached a 10% black owned rate in the black community. I'm going to give you two seconds to try and guess what the instance of black owned businesses are right now. One, two. It is, it is at one in 400. That means one black person out of 400 black adults of working age owns a business. I'm give you I'm going to give you 2 seconds to guess what the instance of the rate of Asians Asian owned businesses are in the Asian community. One Two, it's 10%. That means one out of every 10 Asians owns a business. If the black community approached 10% business ownership instance rate, the black community's problems would vanish. That means incarceration would cease to exist. Poverty would cease to exist. Unemployment would cease to exist inside the black community. Now we talk about the black community having double, triple, quadruple unemployment rates versus whites or Asians or Jews. If we had a 10% interest rate of black ownership, black business ownership inside the black community, that would probably get down to less than 1%. I don't have the numbers for the Asian community, but they are at the pinnacle of everything economic and financial in the United States. They're not on Wall Street like the gangs of New York, but they're at a 10% business ownership rate within their community. I'm going to guess that probably Asian unemployment by itself is probably less than 1%. This is just a guess. But there are, they are at the top of every economic chart and financial chart in the United States. Yes, they outstrip the white community. The white community does not have a 10% business ownership rate in the white community. Now, so I want you, liberals, Democrats, what have you, completely erase the whole 
the thought of racism out of your, your mind. And I'm talking about a real solution. And this is easy. That means it's supporting black business ownership. That is uh, encouraging startups in the black community. Startups meaning starting a black business, starting a corporation, starting manufacturing in the black community. That means buying from black owned businesses. Now, I mentioned in one of my former videos that I'm starting a National Negro Business League and I made a couple of mistakes in that video, but the mistakes are I was overthinking how, uh, how to acquire that. I am happy to note that those, that branding was retired completely, which means because it's retired, I can attain and retain and revive those brands almost free of charge. All my corporation needs is to have my lawyer draw up all the inf all the information and incorporate under those uh, under those brands, and that's probably twenty brands that I'm talking about. So I'm happy to say that. If you want to get on board again, I want to say leave a comment below. Spread spread this information. We can do this. Dr. Anderson seems to be the only black quote-unquote leader, although white people don't say this is our leader, like, like black people are aliens or something like that. The, Dr. Anderson seems to be the only person talking about this. Jesse Jackson is not talking about this. Cornel West is not talking about this. Dr. Lamont Hill is not talking about this. Farrakhan is definitely not talking about this. Why? Because a lot of those are, are, are hucksters and tricksters and, and uh, me, 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 me type of people. You had the black agenda uh, uh, televised on PBS and this was never talked about. It was a whole poor mouthing session, was it not? I'm talking about not just empowering, but I'm talking about solving a 100 year problem. Actually, it's not a 100 year problem. It's from the 60s till today. That's it. Before the 60s, the black community did not have such problems. It was the federal government that planned to do something to the black community. And their solution was welfare, food stamps, WIC, public housing, and destroying the black family. This will be the solution. If a black man has a job and money, do you really think that black women, poor to middle class, will not marry them in droves? And if a black man has a job and money, do you really think he's going to be talking about selling drugs, which is really the only thing that affects the black community uh, in any real sense of the word? Black people are actually not known for high violent crimes. They are not known for that. That is not what black people are in jail for. 70% of the black people in jail are there for simple marijuana, specifically possession. End of story. So thank you for watching this video. It was just supposed to be the quote at the beginning, but uh, of course, I always wax eloquent. Please assist me, in, assist me in spreading this message. So, just so we're clear, we're talking about blacks hiring blacks by owning black-owned businesses because they are the largest employers of blacks. And that's the solution to so many problems in the black community. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.